Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see about execution order of the script. Okay, so when we click on the send button, how the postman is executing our scripts. Okay, so if you look at this image, you can see anything that you have written on the pre-requested script, right? So that will be executed before your request. Okay, anything that you have written on the test script tab, so that will be executed after your request is sent, which means once you got the response, the test tab will be executed. So this is a pre-requested tab. So whatever you are going to write here, before this endpoint is processed, right? Before your request is sent, this will be processed. Once you got the, I mean, request is sent. So now after that, this test will be processed. Okay, so now if you look at this image, so here I can see the pre-request script, right? After that, your request will be processed. You will get the response. After response, you can write some assertion statements in the test script, okay, in the test tab. So now let's go to that postman here. So in the pre-request tab, so this is a local variable that we are sending for this page number. Okay, so let me delete that one. I will directly give the page value here. Okay. So now here I'm going to do one console log. Console log is nothing, it is similar to sysout how we do in the Java. In JavaScript, this that I mean this is called console log. Okay, if you want to print something in the console. You have to use this statement. So here I'm giving us three request. Okay. So I'm just copying the same and I'm going to update here as a test tab. Okay. So this is test tab. Okay. So now let me clear the console. Okay. So the moment when I click on the send button, what is the process here? So it has to execute my pre request script. So right now we have not written any script. We are just doing only the console. Okay. I'm just clicking on the send button now. You can see the pre request is printed. Then our endpoint is processed. Then we are getting the whatever the, I mean, uh, the statement that we have written in the test tab, it is getting printed. Okay. So this is for the request level. Okay. This is for the just the request level. So if you want to use the same thing for this collection level, so then what we can do, we can go to this collection level folder. And here also you can see the pre request tab as well as test tab. Okay. Here you can see pre request is. Right. Similarly, you can see the test also here. So now I'm just going to copy this and let me paste it here. Okay. And similarly, I will copy the test and I will do it in the folder level. So folder level, this is not a folder level. This is a collection level. Okay. So now what happens? So when you run this particular test, so by default, whatever you have updated in the collection level, this is also applicable for every request. This is applicable. Okay. So if you are writing some post, I mean, uh, pre script, pre request script or test methods that is in the collection level. So which means that is applicable for the each request in the collection. Okay. So now let's go here and I'm sending this button. Okay. So let me delete this. Otherwise it will be duplicated. Okay. So now let's clear the console. So now in the request level, I don't have any pre request script. I don't have any test scripts. Okay. But still, I could see these two values are getting is printed, which is coming from our collection level. Okay. So now, if you look at this collection level, you can see here. Okay. So pre request scripts are associated with the collection. Collections will run prior to every request. You can see this line. So whatever the pre request that you have written at the collection level, that is applicable for the every request in the collection. Okay. It is similar applied to the folder level also. A, a pre request script associated with the folder will run prior to every direct child request in the folder. Okay. So you can create multiple child folder also in the postman. So now if you look at this, so this is a collection. Okay. So this is a collection and a folder and a request level and request response. After that, collection test, test scripts and a folder test scripts and a request test scripts. So now let's come here. So now we have seen the request level as well as we have seen the collection level. So now what we can know, we can create one folder like this. Okay. So let me name uh, rename this one as a child ones. Okay. I'm going to create one more folder. This is child two. Okay. So what I will do, I will move this request one to child one and the request child request a two to child two. Okay, so now I have a two subfolders in the test collection. So now what we can do, so I can just go to uh, test, 
test collection and let's run this. Okay. So let me clear this console. So now what happens? Pre request will print as well as the test tab also will print. Okay, so now I can see pre request is printed and the test tab also printed. And again, one more time, the pre request is plain printed because of we have this child. Let me check this inside child what we have. Okay, this is not saved. The request is not saved. That's the reason. Okay, let me clear now. So let me go for a new run. Yeah, now it is coming correctly because of I have not saved this request. So that's the reason. So now if you look at this, so inside this, we have two requests. So one is a post. For the post, it got executed from the parent level, which is a pre-request and test. Okay, let me rename this as a parent. Okay. And here also, okay, parent pre-request. Okay, so make sure you are always saving the uh, collections, otherwise it will not work. So let's come to this one. So this is my parent test tab. Okay, so this is my pre-request and this is my parent. Okay. So now I will go to the test. Again, I will go for a new run. So now what happens? Parent pre and parent test, parent pre, parent test. Okay, that is what we are getting here. You can see parent pre request, parent test tab. So for another request also. So that is what we have seen here, right? So if you write something in the script level, I mean the collection level, so this will be executed for the every run. I mean every test in the collection. Okay, so that is what happening now. So now what we can do, so we can go to the child one. So here also you can see the pre request script. Okay, so this, the test is our collection. Okay, the, the child is folder. You can see the folder I can get. Okay, this is the folder. So here also I'm going to give some console logs. This is child one pre request. Okay, so let me go to the test tab. So here also child one test. Okay, so now let's do that try to run this collection again. So I'm going for a new run. So now we have written only a folder level for the child one, we have written the prerequisite under the test script. Okay, so now, you can see here, so this is executing parent prerequisite and the child one, so when, when the collection is started, you can see the first method is request one, which is a post method. Okay, so the request one is under inside this child one. So the parent level, we have written the pre-request is parent pre-request that is printed. When it is come to this request one method, so here also in the child one, we have written this pre-request. Pre okay, so that child one is printed. Then my actual endpoint, which is a post method is executed. So after that, what happens? It got executed my parent one. Okay, parent test tab. After that, it got executed on my child one. So which is which is we have written on the folder level test scripts. Okay. Again, this is for the get method. So again, it is calling like this. So what is happening in the sense? Now you can see this is how it is happening. Okay, so the collection will. So first one is collection, right? So the collection, what is our collection? We have this parent pre-request list. So that is got printed. Okay, after that, when it is come to the folder level, right? So folder level also, this child one, we have folder level, which is child one free. So that has got executed. Then in the request also you can have. So if you, for example, you can you can have the request and the pre-request script and the test also you can have it, but we have not done that. Okay, so our request is processed. So this is what our request, the post method. So after that, we got a response. So response, after response, you can see it is going for the collection level folder. So this is what the collection level. Right, so parent test tab. Then it is coming to the folder level. Okay, so that is what happening here. Okay, so let me rename this one as a collection. Collection three. Okay, so here let me rename this. Okay, so this is collection test. Okay, so this is. 
connection okay so now we'll come to this one so this is child one folder one okay so folder one three and we'll go to here this is folder one test okay so now let's run this so now you will give i mean you will have some better idea about this you can see the first one is collection free okay so the collection free request is executed then the folder level free request is executed then our actual endpoint is processed then after collection level test is executed then folder level test is executed so inside this you can have the pre requests and a test for the your request level also so this is for request level okay request level free which is pre request so i'm going to copy the same thing and i'm going to write it in the test okay. so this is test so make sure you are always saving the request otherwise the collection will not be considered for the changes so going for a new run so just clicking on the test run so now you can see collection free and the folder free then request level free then collection folder request okay so it will be in the i mean the same order so like by so your collection folder request again collection folder request okay so this is how this execution will happen okay so when it is come to the child to of request to what happens so this is only applicable for the collection level so that's the reason you can see here collection pre is printed and collection post is printed which is a test okay so this is how the postman execution order will happen okay so you want to define what you have to execute before your request sent and you have to define what what you have to validate after the re request is sent okay so anything before that you can maintain in the pre request script that can be in the collection level so when you do it in the collection level it is applicable for across all the collect all the requests inside that collection so when you go for a folder level that is only applicable for the within the folder okay so when you go for a request that is applicable only for that particular request okay so that is how you have to define anything in the pre i mean pre request is if you want to do that you have to define in the pre request tab after that if you want to post validation i mean post response validation you have to do in the test tab okay so this is how the postman execution order will happen okay so that's all about this video thank you guys